To me, this doesn't mean that Pouliot is leaving. And what I'm talking about here is the fact that the Vancouver Canucks did not qualify the restricted free agent contract of defenseman Derek Pouliot. Now, immediately, the first reaction that a lot of you guys had, probably when reading the title or looking at the thumbnail of this video, was, wait, what? Pouliot's leaving? What the heck? And, obviously, that's the connotation that comes with any news source saying that the Vancouver Canucks are not qualifying the restricted free agent contract of a certain player, but... This isn't necessarily something that indicates, to me at least, that he's leaving the team. Because there's a little bit of a mumbo-jumbo situation going here. A little hockey contract hocus-pocus that I believe the Vancouver Canucks are trying to execute here revolving around Pouliot. And that all stems from the idea that Pouliot isn't necessarily ready, let's say for a big-time NHL contract. And according to this tweet over here by Ryan Bache, the Vancouver Canucks, if they did qualify Pouliot's contract, the next contract that they would have to pay at least would be 105% of the current deal, so $840,000. And by not qualifying Pouliot, that means that he is now an unrestricted free agent, which means that he is able to sign wherever it is he wants. But contract talks with the Vancouver Canucks, of course, they're still persistent, seeing as things go up until July 1st. But this basically means to me that the Vancouver Canucks are trying to bring Pouliot back just on the same amount of money from before, probably. Because... The qualifying offer for the restricted free agent, if they tendered it, would have been that $840,000. If the Vancouver Canucks are in a position where they're saying, yes, we want to bring you back for a one-year deal, a really prove-it kind of deal in this scenario, they're not looking to go over $840,000, really? I'm sorry, but, like, that's just over Biega money. Biega was at $600,000, so... What exactly is the thing here that's limiting them from wanting to go $840,000? I don't know, maybe I'm just getting this all wrong, but to me, it seems very likely that the Vancouver Canucks are doing this just so they can get Pouliot at a lower price. Maybe they're insecure about how he's going to play out going forward or whatever, but honestly, to me, it's like, what the heck, dude? We just got rid of $7 million each for each Sedin in cap space. We got $14 million off the books now, and the cap's going up, so I'm just surprised they're not willing to go 5% more than they had previously for re-signing Derek Pouliot. Of course, maybe I'm wrong, and... The Canucks are just thinking of getting rid of Pouliot altogether for nothing. In that case, cough, cough, fourth round pick, Andre Bedan. Oh my goodness. I would never live that down. But at the same time, it's an interesting concept. Overall, it's something that I believe makes a little bit of sense if you're trying to be a miser of a character right here in just wanting to save as much money as you can. But as I already established, do we really need to be saving all that money right now? It's $40,000. We just got $14 million cleared off of our cap. Who knows? Who knows, though? Because maybe I'm just sitting here, I'm crazy, and everything that I think about is not at all what the Vancouver Canucks are thinking about. And in that case, I would be willing to see where I'm wrong, and I'd be willing to understand and acknowledge what exactly is the plan here, because Pouliot is literally in a vulnerable position right now, seeing as he's an unrestricted free agent. So, yeah. Best case scenario, and what I think is most likely going to happen, is the Vancouver Canucks still re-sign him, just on a lower amount of money than they would have during his qualifying offer had they tendered that to him. But, obviously, he still is free to sign wherever he wants. But, in my opinion, it's just like, if the Vancouver Canucks aren't even willing to give him $840,000, what other team would? I mean, he didn't have that good of a season, did he? I think he was a solid player, and he was okay most of the time, and really good sometimes, but he's a guy who I'd definitely like to see going forward, seeing if he's able to develop into something beautiful. Other than that, though, he's an unrestricted free agent for now, which is really, really interesting news. Hope you guys enjoyed this video for Blessed Gaming, and bye. <laughs>